Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I'd like to show you how to extract dates from a text string using one of my favorite commands in Power Query, which is add columns from example. This can be really useful if you're ever given messy data from flat files or other data sources and want to easily and reliably extract the date values from a column. So let's get started. So I have in front of me some dummy data that I've created. So as you can see in here, each row is a series of words with some dates that are in there. And what I'd like to do reliably is to be able to extract the date from any one of these. And as you can see, there's a mixture of dates as well as some characters, commas, periods, um, also non-printable characters, a whole bunch of stuff in there. So it is definitely not particularly clean data. So let's see how easily we can extract the dates from here using add column from example. So to start with, I'm going to come up here, I'm going to right click on text string, and I'm going to select add column from example, and I'm going to give it some examples for each of these rows in here. So to start with, let's go with the bottom row, and that is 8, 4, 10, there we go. Okay, now it's not gotten it quite right yet, but we can give it multiple examples. So I'll just keep moving up my list, 4, 5, 0, 2, okay, getting a little bit closer, but this one's still causing an issue. You see that 1, 2, 3 over here, that's still coming in on this row. So I want to get rid of that, so that is 5, 6, 17, there we go. Give it another example, maybe one with a comma here. So 1, 16, 2014, there we go. All right, and a few other examples, 2, 3, 20, 10. And there we go. You can see that the, the examples that are getting filled in are all working correctly because these other rows are all being auto-completed. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna call this date. Gonna hit okay. And let's take a look at the actual code that was written for us. Now, I won't argue and say that I'm the one who could be able to write this myself very quickly, but it did a very complex series of strings where it declared a bunch of different text strings in here, and then it did a lot of combines and other splits in here. So it did a lot of cool, uh, you know, semi-magical things in a way to be able to extract the data reliably. Now, it's not 100% perfect, but you can give it a fairly messy set of data and it will still extract that for you. And that is so much faster than having to figure out how to do it yourself. So I would highly encourage to be using these ad comps from examples. This did come from an actual client scenario where they had text like this that they wanted to extract the date from. And this is what I directed them to because that way they don't have to know how to code M, they can do it themselves. So I do hope you found this video useful. If you liked this video, please click that like button below or add a comment to the comments section, as well as if you have any suggestions for future videos, please go ahead and throw those down in the comments as well. And if this is your first time here or you want to see more of these videos, please click that subscribe button. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.